The, there was a fresh round for each month, um, August to May last year, with the top three stories from each month taking and making up the final shortlist of 30. Uh, we received more than 100 entries um, over the last 10 months, and although the writers were anonymous, it's clear there is an international following, as some of the spellings suggested some writers were from North America. Now, the themes for each month were set by Morgan Bailey, who launched a competition and was its judge for the first two years. Morgan is moving away, incidentally, and this will be her final involvement with Beacon Lit. We're very grateful for her hard work and guidance and wish her well. Now, the standard was once again very high in the 2020-2021 competition, and anyone in the final 10 prize winners could have made it through to the top three. Now, the final choice reflects the way in which the three stories were so unlike one another and excellent examples of their type. One was a classic chiller set when no one can hear you scream and still worryingly unresolved at the end. The second is a story for our times, practical therapy even, to put yourself and a relationship together, again, under the strains of lockdown. And the third was a satisfying how to solve a problem of everyday life story. Now, the three winners will receive a small cash prize and a chance to have a longer piece of writing critiqued by the competition judge. Their stories will be published on the Beacon Flash website and the writers given free entry to next year's festival. The seven runner-ups also win a free ticket for next year. The new competition begins in August, so we hope many of you will be inspired to, to join in. Now, the runners-up in no particular order are Party Boy and pa oh, Pat Myrna Thompson, Paula's Clown Douglas Goodrich, and next by Simon Shergold. Match of the Day, Barbara Young, No Going Back Sue Massey, and The Grimshaws by Rosie San Jose. Now, the winners are in descending order. In third place, Barking Mad by Susan Kittles. In second, Piece by Piece, Piece, by Piece even, by Linda Cassily. And in first place, our winner, Semi-Detached by Julian Harvard Barnes. Is any of, any of those winners here today? No? Well, let's give them an applause anyway. Well done.